OpenAI released Search GPT to break into the web search market with this new chat GPT functionality. It's put Google search, perplexity, and Bing? Are we considering Bing in this? Or how about Microsoft Copilot? It has officially put the dominant search players on notice. They partnered with news outlets and data providers to provide up-to-date information on things like weather, stocks, sports, news, and maps. We'll go through a few examples of searching how to accomplish specific tasks, tech trends, some analysis, and comparisons with other search engines. During the first hours of Search GPT's release, there is an icon for Search GPT next to this attached file icon, and you had to switch it on. But now it looks like they've gotten rid of that and they've just incorporated it straight into the overall chat GPT experience. And I'll show you the proof in the pudding. Let's use this prompt, trends in how enterprise companies are using AI with customers. Looking at the results, it returns some of the use cases like AI-driven customer service, generative AI for personalization, open source adoption, AI and cloud services, and fraud detection and security. With each of these use cases, there's a link next to it. But what's great is when you hover over the link, it'll give you a preview of that source. And if it has a date on that web page, it looks like it'll pull that through as well. So if we click on this link, it opens up a new tab and loads the web page. So now you can go through and look at the details. But I want to show you something I've noticed. If we look at all of these sources, notice that they're all pretty recent, like within the past couple of weeks. October, late October, and some from today. And these seem to be credible resources as well. You can go to the bottom where it lists the sources, click it'll show you more results with more recent updated results at the top. If we scroll down, we can see that there are some older sources cited. We're going to try another example. We're on NFL.com looking at the standings for NFL teams. And we see that the Kansas City Chiefs and the Detroit Lions have the best records. So we'll try this prompt. Why do the Chiefs and the Lions have the best records in the NFL? And this isn't a simple answer. The first thing you notice is ChatGPT leads off with the date, today's date in the response. It seems like it really wants to drive home that it's able to provide responses with up-to-date information. So here it looks like it has the records for the teams correct, 7-0 and and 6-1. and And then it goes into some of the points here, some good analysis with the stellar defense, Effective rushing attack, averaging 122 yards per game, which checks out. And then it also gives the sources for the Lions. Talks about the versatile offense, strong team dynamics, speaking to the strong performances in the passing game and the running game, except for last game where I believe Jared Goff threw for less than 100 yards. But the team didn't need him to do any more than that. And then the culture built by head coach Dan Campbell. Now, I followed up with this prompt to add more depth to the analysis. And it goes into the position groups on defense for the Chiefs. But there is some outdated information here. Legereus Sneed is no longer with the Chiefs. He plays for the Titans now. And then the offensive strategy. But it doesn't mention the struggles of Patrick Mahomes, nor the acquisition of accomplished receiver DeAndre Hopkins. ChatGPT gives us some great analysis for the Detroit Lions, mentioning all phases of the game here with the quarterback play, Jared Goff playing very well, the dynamic duel, David Montgomery and Jameer Gibbs, as well as the receiving core, Amara St. Brown and Jameson Williams. ChatGPT highlights some great points about the defense with the play of Aiden Hutchinson, but it doesn't mention that he's out for 
the regular season, unfortunately. And then the turnover rate, Detroit is actually ranked second in turnover differential. They are taking the ball away from opposing offenses more than they are losing it. So this analysis is pretty good, but it is missing some key points. So I'm not sure if search GPT is in full play here. The next thing I want to do is test search GPT's capabilities on local search. So we're going to use this prompt looking for Caribbean food or tacos near Arlington, Virginia, which is ranked one of the healthiest cities in the nation. And it looks like it's actually giving us a test, asking us to choose between two responses. Now, it is a test, but the results seem to be populating a little bit slower than expected. This is taking a while, so I'm going to reload the page and see what it comes back with. Even with a new chat, chat GPT seems to be struggling, providing a response. So if we scroll down, it still lists the sources. However, the sources seem to be just compilation lists. There are some specific results here. It took a couple tries, but it looks like it's returned something that we can actually use. So it indicates that it's searched for sites. And with this drop down, you can see the results here. But it also gives us some of the specific locations, as well as the address in the response. And you can click on this link next to the response as well. Search GPT only gives us three results, but they all do appear to be local. Let's chain a prompt asking it to provide ratings and pricing info. It tells us that Soka Fusion is typically four and a half to five stars from 10 to $23. And Bar Taco is around four to four and a half stars at $3.50 per taco. Yes. It's expensive compared to other places in the country. But if we look at Google Maps, that seems to check out. So Confusion, four and a half stars, 10 to $20 range. And then Bar Taco, 4.3 stars. And the pricing indicator seems to align with what ChatGPT gave us. So with the release of SearchGPT, it looks like OpenAI is really trying to brand ChatGPT as a fast search engine that can retrieve up-to-date information. Even when it's preparing its response, you'll notice that it'll say searching X number of sites. What do you think about this search GPT experience? Do you think the search engine market is shaking up? If you found this useful, like the video and leave a comment. If you want more content on AI, workflow automation, and analytics, subscribe to the channel.